Hey loves, welcome to another exciting episode of Kitchen Experience. If you are just seeing this channel for the first time, my name is Rita, I live in Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome to my channel. Kindly watch this video. Today we are making obono and okra soup combined using one pot method. I started off by steaming the shaki and momo because they are tougher than the beef. By the way, I'm using beef, shaki, momo. I started off by boiling the shaki and momo first. It's going to cook for a few minutes before adding in the beef because I do not like soft meat. So uh, I washed the okra and grated. By the way, the reason why we add okra to obono here in Nigeria was actually a story that I'm going to tell you. A story that happened between 2005 and 2007. Obono is also known as African wild mango. It has two species in the tree, the Ado Obono and Ugili. The Ado Obono is harvested during the dry season, while the Ugili is predominant during the raining season. The Ado Obono is very tasty and it has 100% slimy texture. Perfect. I could vividly remember that time as if it was yesterday. Each time I go to the market to buy obono, I normally buy the ugili. And once it's almost done, it doesn't have that slimy texture. And I remember my mom will always scold me that each time she sends me to the market, I always get the bad obono. You know how African mothers can be until she went to the market herself and bought the same ogivi. We were managing it that time. This particular day she came back and she was so happy that she has got the secret to making slimy obono that you have to add okra to it. She said most women that day were saying the same thing that you need to add okra. It was really a terrible thing at that season. So that brought about adding okra to obono soup. So we just tried it and it worked. End of story. If you want to introduce solid food to your toddler, you start off with obono because the slime is very easy to swallow. This particular recipe is the same thing as making obono. If you want to get a detailed method of cooking obono soup, just check. I'll leave the link so you could just watch it. Almost the same thing. Once your obono is ready, you Add in your heated okra. After three minutes, you add your ugu leaves or any other leaves that you like. And a few seconds after, you just turn off the heat. That's all. You enjoy it. Any swallow of your choice. Either you're using wheat, powder yam, powder potato, apple, that's fufu, or agidi. It's actually very nutritional. Like this particular soup was very tasty. Right now, as you can see from the clip, I added more than enough stock because I'll be using okra for this soup. I do not want my obono to be very thick, so you have to add more than enough stock for this particular recipe as against cooking all your obono. The okra will eventually thicken the soup. As soon as you add the obono mixture, just allow it to cook for a period of seven minutes. Give it a good stir. Make sure it is well incorporated. There are no lumps before adding the okra. Give it a good stir and allow it to cook for a period of three minutes max because you do not want it to be overcooked. You can grate your okra or you slice any shape you want according to your preference it's fine after a period of three minutes just add in your vegetable you can also use any vegetable you like but i like ugu only ugu vegetable in the soup which is also known as pumpkin leaves 
finely chopped add it give it a good stir and few seconds after you turn off the heat soup is ready while cooking as soon as you add your bono do not forget you don't cover your pots if you do the soup loses its slimy texture i had mine with wheat and it was very delicious super delicious to my returning subscribers i want to say a very big thank you for liking my videos commenting and the show of support thank you so much god bless you and i'll see you in my next video bye